Have I discussed any payment or compensation with Daryl for all the free promo work you've been doing for Wilson throughout the years? You are their primary advertiser. <laughs> Hi, Jay. Why don't I spin or showcase your Kronos turntable more often? In my opinion, and probably on many others, that's the star source in your system and well worth to be shown. Happy New Year from Sweden. Yeah, man, I agree with you. Uh, I should make an effort to showcase my Kronos turntable more often. I don't do enough of an effort, and that is because I am so busy with so many moving pieces. This is why I'm trying to create more bandwidth now. I'm trying to create more space so that I have more opportunity to showcase my turntable, to spin more vinyl, to let you hear my system as best as possible, even though we know it's not really an accurate representation of what my system sounds like in person. Um, but I agree. I just don't do enough of an effort. I don't make enough of an effort. I think the last time I heard it for hours was when my friends uh oz and carlos and luis showed up and we were like spinning vinyl i think they brought their own and, and it was a killer time you know um i feel like i enjoy playing vinyl more with others than by myself if that makes sense i don't know if this happens to you all but i feel like i i get more out of the vinyl experience when others bring their records and i get to discover their music collection and it's so enjoyable they show me this pressing that they bought on eBay for a thousand bucks and right and so I think it's just more like whoa thank you for sharing this one thousand dollar pressing with me and like let me let me hear what's possible and so you get to hear different levels like of recordings right and I think that's what makes it more enjoyable for me anyway when it comes to uh playing vinyl um by myself I don't know man I just don't know if if it's all there for me as far as the the uh experience the experience don't get me wrong it's phenomenal love the sound but i just like to share it with others more so that they can bring their collection too and we can play and spin some records right to me that's the more like the more fat more fun part of the hobby if that makes sense but your mark levinson amplifier has developed a faulty a fault. Luckily, it was under warranty from a dealer. Would you keep the amp or request your money back? Well, first of all, if the amplifier broke and it's been six months since it's, you know, since you he sold it to you, I don't think you can get your money back, number one. Uh, but if it's an amp that just you just took delivery of it and it's broken already, yeah, I, I get a refund. Yeah, absolutely. I get a refund. I mean, I feel like if something breaks within the first 14 days, I'd say, okay, and you have treated it the right way you haven't been tinkering with it or doing things you're not supposed to okay i feel like if something breaks that fast and it's a brand new component and you were fair to the dealer meaning you did not get like wholesale wholesale prices okay from the dealer i've said this many times okay that if you want white glove service be fair to the dealer and what you're paying them for a product i feel like you should be able to get a replacement now the problem is this some brands, some brands are so good that the dealer would call and say, hey, remember that 432 Mark Levinson amp that you shipped to me two weeks ago? Well, the customer says it's broken. I brought it here to the store and it's not working. Some brands will say, no worry, we'll send a new one. And they'll take back the old one. And I'm assuming they fix it. I don't know what they do or they uh, use it for parts. Who knows? And then they'll give, they'll give you a brand new product. Other brands will be like, okay, we'll send it for repair. It's hard for the dealer to essentially come out of pocket now to give you all that money back for an amplifier that they're, they're now stuck with. See what I'm saying? That's what's difficult, okay? But if this dealer has a relationship with you, you've bought a lot of things from them. You've allowed him to make money. You're not nickel and diamond him. Some people are really brutal when it comes to doing this, okay? Um, and he's made and he's 
treated you fairly and done business with you, okay, I think he probably would take it back and say, okay, no problem. I'll go ahead and uh, take it back and take credit towards anything else in the store uh, that you want, right? That's a good dealer right there. That's a good dealer. But that's when you have built a relationship with him. You've been fair to him. He's been fair to you. You have a great, great re business relationship. Um, I would say, man, try to see if they can swap it out. If you have a good relationship with him, get something else. But if you want me to recommend something in the forty-five to five thousand dollar price point, um, it's uh, I, I would say look at the used market. Just remember the used market does not have warranty. Oftentimes, I would probably look at a um, for five grand. You know what amplifier I'd like if you can find one? Sim Audio eight hundred and sixty version one. Okay, if you can find it for five ish, I don't think it'll be four, but you can probably find one for. 55 might be six if you can stretch it to six i think the 860 version one sim audio is a great amplifier to look into um yeah the luxman 900u is still about eight thousand dollars so you're not going to be able to buy that uh but yeah i would say the 860 version one sim audio uh, should definitely do the trick for you okay i'd love to see more of your reviews I'd love to see an interview with Daryl Wilson. Any chance that could happen? You know, you are the fifth person this month that has asked me, last month, I should say now, that has actually asked, why is it that I have not had Daryl Wilson on my channel with the amount of Wilson audio speakers that have been through my room? I think it's nine pairs and counting. Uh, it's an interesting conversation, to be sincere with you. Um, I have seen him on other channels, uh, s smaller YouTuber channel, YouTube channels, uh, and with people that don't even have a Wilson audio speaker, let alone his creation, his best creation to date. Um, and, um, yeah, I don't really know. I mean, I will say that it could be maybe a conversation that needs to be had. Maybe I need to call the factory speak to some people, pull some strings over there and see if maybe he comes out and decides to talk to me about, um, answer some questions about the brand, you know, things that I'm interested in asking him. And I'm sure you guys want to hear, um, as well. I don't really have an answer, you know, uh, maybe I haven't put enough effort. I'm not going to say it's, it's them. I'm not going to say it's uh, anyone's fault. Uh, but maybe, you know what, maybe in 2024 it, it's, this could be something that I pursue a little more. Uh, make the right calls and see if maybe Daryl would give me some airtime here, some time to talk about, you know, Wilson Audio in general. I think it's definitely long overdue. I would say that um, there isn't really a reason why they wouldn't do one because I think I've, pre I've presented their speakers uh, in a quite professional way, at least over the last two years, right? At least. So we'll see. Stay tuned. You never know. Have I discussed any payment or compensation for all the free promo work you've been doing for Wilson throughout the years? You are their primary advertiser. <laughs> well, 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 um, this is a tough one, right? Because uh, I have been told this many times. There is nobody in YouTube doing more work with Wilson audio speakers than me. Many people can research this. The proof is there. I mean, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to see this. Nobody puts out more content with Wilson Audio speakers than I do. Nobody on YouTube. As a matter of fact, I will give someone $1,000 if you find me a YouTuber right now with more videos with Wilson Audio speakers than I have. I'll wait. I'll sit here all day. I'll sit here until December 31st, 2024, waiting for you to find me somebody. There isn't a single person on YouTube that has more videos with Wilson Audio speakers than I do. And with more Wilson Audio speakers models than I do. Not just one pair of speakers, speaker models than I do. So I see your question being very valid <laughs> as far as payment or compensation. But you know that would never fly with them. You know that. You know that Wilson Audio is not that type of company. Okay. Um, they wouldn't be in position to do that. They wouldn't even want to do that. I don't expect anything from them. I do think it would be cool to perhaps get an email from them where they can say, hey, you know what? Uh, we acknowledge your work. And so, yeah, if you anytime you want to have an interview with 
you know, with me or in this case with Daryl, right? Uh, you know, let us know and we can set one up for you. I definitely think that that could be cool if they can at least give me those 20, 30 minutes uh, out of their busy schedule. Um, but, um, you know, I think maybe that's just conversations that haven't been had. Um, what you're saying, though, as far as me being the primary advertiser, um, I can see why that could be the perception. But I don't blame you for feeling that way and having that opinion, because I think a lot of people would have that opinion about me. A lot of people would feel that I work for Wilson Audio because of how many Wilson Audio speakers I've owned. No doubt. So, um, but I can't tell people what to think or how to digest, you know, my work or how to interpret my level of work with a lot of the Wilson Audio speaker models that I've owned here. Um, so maybe at some point, Daryl or anyone over at Wilson Audio watches this video and they can say, hey, they have my email, by the way. Wilson Audio does have my email because I have corresponded with someone at Wilson Audio. So I know they have my email. Plus, they can always find it on my videos or my website. I'm sure they can find a way to get my email address. Um, and so maybe someday, we'll, Daryl and I can talk and have a nice conversation, you know, about the brand and, of course, uh, the great company that they are because they are an iconic American brand. And when my review of the Chronosonic uh, XVX releases this year, I am sure they're going to be watching it because it is then. So who knows? Maybe now that I'm already expressing the fact that I will be making my formal review of the Chronosonic XVX, maybe they might say, hey, we need to talk to this guy and we need to give him some airtime because he's about to put out a review on our arguably probably the best speaker they've ever had. So we'll we'll see. I can't tell him what to do. And I mean, I'm no man, nobody to tell Wilson Audio how to handle their business, but hopefully they can recognize some of my work. We'll see.